Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Today, this 14 years old male patient is brought to me with pain, watering, photophobia and sudden degrees of vision in the right eye since yesterday. Now the patient was uh, wearing uh, high myopic uh, astigmatic uh, glasses um, and is a known case of keratoconus. Few months back patient had undergone corneal cross linkages in the left eye for progressive keratoconus and now was planning for the right eye. Patient also is having uh, vernal keratoconjunctivitis. Uh, and parents uh, say that may be excessive rubbing uh, as uh, it's a spring season may have got this sudden whitening and swelling of the right eye cornea so if we formulate the history patient had vkc since childhood and then developed keratoconus due to constant and forceful rubbing and now in the right eye has developed acute corneal hydro corneal hydrops his vision is now counting finger in the right eye and now i will show you the case on slit time examination diffuse conical protrusion with massive diffuse corneal edema with overlying microcystic edema and epithelial bulle intact epithelium you can see that there is a diffuse corneal haze unlike in a routine focal area is involved now on corneal cross section stromal edema can easily be appreciated now this was very unusual picture of acute hydrops normally focal area of cornea is involved but in this case majority of the cornea is involved and uh, patient was even misdiagnosed as a case of keratitis so if uh, you are shown just the cornea of this patient without uh, history and examination Due to large epithelial bullae and microcystic edema, you can easily misdiagnose it as a case of bullous keratopathy. So keratitis and bullous keratopathy are its two top differentials. So why it occurs? Acute corneal hydrops is caused by the acute disruptions of the decimate membranes in the setting of corneal ectasia most commonly keratoconus hydrops means abnormal accumulation of fluid in a cavity the term is also used to describe fetal swelling in utero due to rh incompatibility corneal hydrops not only occur in three percent of keratoconic patients but also in pellucid marginal degeneration and keratoglobus patients you can clearly see on corneal cross sections the horizontal linear opacities now these are the breaks in the decimate membrane here you can clearly see that uh, the stroma is filled with the fluid and the linear lines yes the horizontal linear lines uh, if you can appreciate these are the breaks in the decimate so eye rubbing is the inciting agent and now if you look at the OCT uh, anterior segment OCT you can clearly see the fluid filled spaces in the stroma as well as the decimate membrane detachment can also be seen on the OCT so eye rubbing is the inciting agent patient rubs the eyes vigorously leading to breaks into the decimate membranes and subsequent influx of aqueous into the corneal stroma leads to the swelling and opacification of stroma and when limit of stroma is crossed epithelial bullae and microcystic edema also 
occurs now how to treat it well first the detached decimate membrane as seen in the corneal section as well as anterior segment OCT must reattach to the posterior stroma second the endothelium must migrate from reattached decimates to cover the gaps between the broken ends this process depends upon the size of the break most cases of acute corneal hydrops resolve over two to three months depending upon the degree of swelling and timeline of resolution patient may need keratoplasty like in this case i gave him hypotonic saline drops to reduce the corneal edema atropine for cycloplegy and pain relief topical steroid drops to reduce inflammation bandage contact lens can also be applied in routine cases but here it was not able to apply sunglasses for photophobia also advised not to rub eyes and gave him most cell stabilizers antihistamines pneumatic desmetopexy or placement of anterior chamber air or gas bubble tamponade speed up the recovery sometimes following spontaneous resolution the visual equity improves more than the pre drops level so wait should be done before going for uh, the definitive treatment uh, which is penetrating keratoplasty in large acute high drops like this corneal neovascularization chances are also increased so that was all about the acute corneal high drops uh, in a keratoconus patient